day, my mornings, and welcome back to the Sailor Luscious channel. I'm Sailor Luscious, and today we're going to be talking about everything that was actually good about the Sailor Moon Deke dub. So, if you don't know who Deke is, Deke was the first company to dub Sailor Moon in the U.S. So let's get started. Deke. The first thing I want to talk about is the voice acting. The voice acting in Deke is not liked by everyone. A lot of people hate some of the character voices, but I feel like the acting in this one was very passionate. I feel like they put their all into it, and you can hear the emotion in their voices. You know, it really makes you feel for the characters when things happen. Next, people who didn't know Sailor Moon didn't realize all the changes between the dub and the manga. I'm not sure if this is actually a good thing, but because the Deke dub was the first dub in the United States, it introduced a lot of fan, new fans to the series and they enjoyed it. So I guess that's where I'm going with why this is a good thing is because Deke was the first dub. It got us a lot of new fans and a lot of new movies. And a lot of people really love the Deke dub solely for the fact that it's what got them into Sailor Moon. The next thing I'm going to talk about is the theme song. No, the English theme song was not the same as the Japanese theme song. It was very different and wasn't as good for the show as far as the words. It didn't, you know, really go with it as well. But it was a catchy and fun theme song and soon became a big fan favorite for many English watchers. A lot of people really loved that theme song, including myself. And I already said that, but, um... It introduced not only people to Sailor Moon, but also to animes like Dragon Ball Z, one of the most popular 90s anime around. And that's because of Toonami, where in order to watch Sailor Moon, you had to first watch Dragon Ball Z. Wow. I was already a fan of both. There are a lot of people who were just at home waiting for Sailor Moon to come on, and they had to watch Dragon Ball Z first because they weren't completely sure of when it was coming on. And boom, now they're watching Dragon Ball Z and Sailor Moon. And it could have been the gateway anime for many of these people as well, especially if they didn't already know what Dragon Ball was. So, Sailor Moon Says. Yes, Sailor Moon Says is also on my good list. And yes, even though I'm recording this first, I already know that I'm putting the bad list up first. The reason I say that Sailor Moon Says is on the good list as well is that Yes, it was forcibly added because back in the 90s, it was required for all children's shows, quote unquote, to have some kind of lesson or educational value in order to be on the air. So because of that, Sailor Moon Says was added to the end of every Sailor Moon episode. And many people think it's very corny, and it is. But for those younger people watching it, who were like my age or younger back then in elementary school, it gave you good life lessons on how to be polite and kind and love and friends and stuff like that. I'm Sailor Moon says. <laughs> so the next thing I want to say is that the English soundtrack is actually like really good. The songs are nice. They fit. They're songs that a lot of us know or knew back then already anyway. And they're pretty songs. The Japanese soundtrack is amazing as well. I think a lot of people actually gravitate to the English soundtrack, especially people in the U.S. anyway. A lot of people gravitate to it. And so it's just, it's a really nice soundtrack. It's not bad. It can't be on the bad list. At least not mine. The last thing I'm going to say, see if you notice this list is actually not very long. But the last thing I'm going to say is fillers. And yes, I said fillers. See, I love the manga. I think the best story of Sailor Moon is the manga story. The storyline and how things go about in the story is better. However, the fillers in the dub added something. And yes, I know they took episodes out as well. You should already know that if you've watched my bad list. But by adding in some of the episodes, I believe we were given more depth to certain characters. We were getting to know them better, especially if you haven't read some of the side stories outside of the main manga there's, you know, there's just, I think the filler episodes added substance. And of course, there was a lot of filler, considering one, how many episodes there were of the dubbed anime. 
and two, how much extra stuff there was that was never in the manga to begin with because of the fact that they were really trying to fill in a lot of those moments. And I feel like that's why we had fillers in Sailor Moon, of, unlike fillers in a lot of other anime where it's just like, why do we have filler here? There was plenty of substance in the manga, but we don't need the filler. I feel like because the time period and the rush on the old Sailor Moon series and also um, the fact that originally Takeuchi was trying to end it much sooner than she did so then by the time we got to the chibi arc or the the Rini, I forgot her English name for a second <laughs> when we got to that there wasn't as much character development for some of the characters so I think the fillers were good so that's all I have for you for today don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and I'll have more videos on the way very soon so remember as i always say in the name of the moon have a great day <laughs>